بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا آن لائن لیکچر آن میٹ لیب سمیلیشن آف کنٹرول سسٹمز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس روبسٹ سلائیڈنگ موڈ کنٹرول اینڈ ایونٹ ٹرگرنگ اپروچ دس کنٹرول ہیز بین پبلشڈ ان آئی ٹرپلی ٹرانزیکشنز آن سرکٹس اینڈ سسٹمز دس از اے فیئرلی ریسنٹ پیپر پبلشڈ ان 2017 Uh, so let's uh, look at uh, what this paper has to offer as always I encourage you to uh, download this paper and read it by yourself because uh, I am not going to discuss the whole paper in detail rather uh, as always we focus on the MATLAB simulation of the results in the paper so this paper basically discusses the systems of this type x dot equal ax plus b where uh, the disturbance acting uh, is basically it's a match disturbance so it's acting on the system in the same way as the control acts on the system the sliding surface that discuss that is discussed in the paper is uh, of the type uh, s is equal to c transpose x which is a fairly simple sliding surface Uh, but the most important part is this control design uh, this control is, this is an older con uh, control uh, for available in the literature u is equal to minus c transpose b inverse uh, c transpose ax plus k into sine of the sliding surface uh, but in this paper there, there, there are some um, of course this is event triggering uh, Uh, based controls so some event uh, triggering mechanism is discussed in the paper so which is called event triggering rule uh, and there is some intervene time so whenever an event occurs uh, which is which uh, uh, is detected by the triggering condition and uh, this control law which is very similar to equation 3 this is applied uh, on the system and this control input is held constant until the next triggering instant is generated and there is uh, in order to generate the triggering instant uh, there is a condition which is the magnitude or norm of c and multiply by norm of a multiply by norm of e sh uh, should be greater than equal to uh, sigma times uh, norm of the value of the state vector at the time of uh, triggering uh, triggering ti is the time at which the triggering occurs and alpha is another constant so overall this is the condition which uh, uh, is used to uh, you used to for the detection of the triggering of an event and uh, once the event and once a new event occurs the new control law is designed based on uh, the value of the state vector and all these things uh, at the time of occurrence of new event this uh, control uh, input has this uh, parameter k so k is uh, a, f a function of the state at the time of uh, triggering of event Uh, which is k1 some constant plus k2 another constant times the norm of the state vector at the uh, time of occurrence of the event and uh, then there are some further discussions in the paper uh, regarding the event triggering conditions and uh, other stuff and finally there is this example that we are interested in very simple second order system x dot equal ax plus b u u plus d here disturbance is 0.1 into sine of 10 t sliding surface is 0.5 uh, 1 times x there are only two states k value of k1 k2 alpha sigma x naught all are given so using these values we can write the code for the event triggering sliding mode control as always we start with the um, we define the function uh, here i name the function rsmc so it's a robust sliding mode control event triggering so this my own you know you can name the function anything then you define the constants given in the paper uh, the c value uh, the value of the constant c k1 k2 alpha sigma these are all given in the paper uh, right here and uh, then 
then you write the a and b matrices which are also given in the paper now this command we use um, xi xi will be the value of the state space we will be reading this value of the state space from a text file and uh, uh, before we read it we have to write it uh, as well so when i am when i will be showing you the code for the script file corresponding to this function file you will see that uh, first i will write the value of xi initially the value of xi will be equal to the value of initial state and uh, then as the uh, triggering event occurs the value of xi will keep on updating then e is equal to xi minus x this is uh, something given in the paper so here if you go up uh, uh, in the paper you can see here that e is equal to xi minus x and uh, then we have uh, uh, so this this is the this is the left and right hand side of the triggering condition so if you look at here uh, the triggering condition uh, left hand side is the norm of c times norm of a times norm of e so what we do is uh, the norm of c times norm of a times norm of e and then right hand side is sigma times norm of xi so if you, if i pull it a little bit here sigma times norm of xi plus alpha and then uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, control input u we are going to read from the text file uh, but if the left hand side is greater than or equal to right hand side then we define the sliding surface to be c transpose x and then we define k is equal to k1 plus k2 into norm of x so k1 plus k2 into norm of x this is basically the uh, value of the state at the time of event occurrence so uh, if this uh, if condition is satisfied that means the the triggering event has occurred and then we define the control law inverse so in, in as in equation 9 we define the control law and then uh, we write down the new value of xi so x at this instant uh, the value of x will be the new value of xi so we use the uh, command dlm write uh, to write a text file uh, to write into the text file the same text file that we will be reading in the next iteration then we also write down the value of control here in the text file because we will be reading this value later in the uh, next uh, uh, iteration then we write down the value of control in another file separately and this time we append the value so in the the, the purpose of appending the value is because we want to access uh, the whole sequence of the control uh, so that uh, we can plot the uh, the control values and similarly we uh, write down the value of the e triggering event time so t is the time so we write it in the file ti dot text and uh, that will be used later on to uh, get so this is uh, the if conditions and then uh, we write down the dynamics the x dot equal ax plus bu plus disturbance and then that's the that is that is basically the function file and all right so let's continue with our uh, the the script file so in the script file as always i use the command clc clear all close all um, these are not required but i still use them as a habit so first i define xi to be the initial state initial state uh, in given in the paper is uh, 2 5 2 and 5 so this is the initial state of the of the initial value of the state vector which i use as the xi so i write it in the text file xi.txt which i will read later on in, in this function here and uh, then uh, i define all the parameters c k1 k2 a alpha matrix a matrix b sliding surface 
calculate uh, so there are two options here initially I can give the value of control equal to zero or I can give the value of control from the equation assuming that initially the xi is the uh, is the is the uh, the the xi is the value of the state vector initially then uh, we write this uh, control value either zero or from this equation uh, and then uh, we will later be reading it uh, that value from the text file then uh, we call the ode45 function and uh, we use this uh, f the function that we have just written here so this will be called and the values of the state and the time will be uh, saved for 30 seconds given this initial condition of 2 5 then we plot in figure 1 we will plot both the both of the state uh, variables x1 and x2 we will see what happens in uh, plot in the second figure we will be plotting x1 versus x2 which is called the phase plane plot and we will then we will be reading the ti so remember that we we are writing this ti the whole all of the triggering times in a text file appending Amma. the values together then uh, we have the for loop and we basically take the difference between the triggering two consecutive triggering times so this will give us uh, um, that how uh, how much time does it take from one triggering event to another triggering event and then we plot uh, ti versus the difference among the triggering events and then we finally uh, take the norm of the state vector and plot the norm of the state vector in figure 4 and then we read the value of the control that we uh, wrote in the text file here using this command and then we plot the uh, control as well then after that we use these commands delete ti and delete ud initially this will create a warning that these files don't exist but then uh, these you have to delete these files because uh, um, you are appending the values of control and triggering event time on these files so after each uh, run you have to uh, delete these files. so let's run this code and once i run this code uh, it will take some time to run and uh, let's see so you can see here this is busy and once it is done we can uh, see the results hey daddy can you make me chicken nuggets okay Well, uh, I think it will take uh, about uh, a minute or, or or a minute and a half. So by the time it, uh, it becomes ready, let's look at the results. So here the, the, the results in the paper show that the norm of the state goes to zero and the, the phase plane shows that both of the states basically converge to zero so you can see here this is zero on y-axis and zero on x-axis so in the phase plane this graph is converging to zero that means that both of the states are converging to zero similarly the control goes from minus 35 minus 30 all the way up to nearly zero and if you look at the triggering times uh, the 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 highest value of triggering time on average is uh, 0 0.008 seconds and uh, the like it means that the, the events are being triggered in between uh, 0 0.0065 seconds and 0 0.008 seconds and uh, let's see what kind of results we get from uh, from our simulations Alright, so I guess 
take some time so by the way there is another video on event uh, triggering control on my channel matlab example of event triggered control i will uh, put the uh, link to this video uh, uh, in the description of uh, the video that uh, video of this paper so if you want to access uh, the previous event the previous video on event triggering control you can do that as well and uh, this current video is uh, about uh, sliding mode control so hopefully this will give you uh, a good comparison or, or it will uh, so the results are here so you can see here that uh, in figure one we had uh, the you can see this is uh, state one and state two both of the states are converging to zero uh, but this convergence is uh, you have to be careful about uh, uh, this convergence here because if you uh, zoom this convergence so this is not exactly being zero so there is some you know due to this disturbance in the system there are some uh, uh, some fluctuations in the state variables also uh, this, uh, this is the phase plane trajectory you can see if you compare it with the trajectory given here which goes uh, more uh, quickly to zero or uh, you cannot uh, uh, but here you can say uh, say that this goes backward uh, my x1 goes all the way back to minus 14 and then all of the trajectory both x1 and x2 they go to zero after some time but uh, this um, and also if you compare the control so here is the control signal from my simulation it fluctuates like from minus 600 to plus 600 and goes eventually to zero but here the this is uh, minus 30 or minus 35 only so it's not my, a lot of fluctuations and then uh, if you look at the triggering time so triggering time is between uh, 0.05 and minus 0.05 which is also not uh, the same here because here triggering time is um, well the, the negative value means that uh, because we are taking the difference here so here we are taking the difference uh, well the triggering time basically should not be negative at all so there 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 is be there is uh, something wrong here uh, so definitely uh, something is not right in these results but uh, of course the the method of uh, doing the simulation that is uh, what to me this this is how you would simulate the the, the event triggering control uh, in MATLAB and uh, well I'm I apologize for this uh, this situation because uh, this situation clearly indicates that it is, it is something something is not right in uh, in the code and uh, well I leave it up to you to figure this out because uh, the the norm of the state vector is going to zero here again the trend is not the same as the trend given in the paper so uh, well let's see what uh, why this uh, thing is so but uh, anyways this is how you basically simulate the